because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I'm with my big friend, Big Martin Bacoli. Uh, last time I saw you was April out in Poland. Yeah, it's been so. It's been a while. How's things? Oh, everything is okay, and uh, we look forward. Like I told you, in Poland. Uh, now, after beating Ford, we come back to London for looking. Oh, you no, know, I don't know. One of British or American or you know, ever to smash and kiss. Mm. Again. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's that's the thing. Right now, obviously, with the heavyweight scene, yeah. there's always this big talk about Saudi Arabia with Fury versus Usyk and Wilder versus Joshua. Now, there's a lot of talk about who these guys. Obviously, Usyk's fighting Dubois in August. Tyson Fury doesn't have an opponent. Joshua doesn't have an opponent. Wilder doesn't have an opponent. Everyone's been mentioned. I've heard names from Agat Kabayal to Dillian White, to Andrew Ruiz, but I haven't heard Mark Bacoli. Why is that? Uh, I, I'm the one who should ask you because uh, I watch all the video. You've been out there, you know, interview everyone. And uh, I think you're in a good position to ask them one day if you meet them because um, even yourself, you ask yourself, why not me? And the same to me, I'm asking myself, why not my name? It's not like before everyone was giving reason like uh, I'm not uh, no client uh, in a ranking no high ranking I'm not good in position and why calling everyone who's uh, no higher in the ranking and why I'm calling them but now I'm 15 box rank and number two WBA good position good WBC ranking WBC? yeah seven yeah seven. WBC yeah, WBC seven and I'm surprised like uh, no they are machine and they are made the big fight, big night, and uh, I'm not including, and I'm not in, uh, in, a, in a mix. But I'll, I'll ask my promoter and my coach, because it's only, not only coach is a manager as well, so I'll ask them to tell me why. But I know only reason that the boxer, they don't want me to fight me. Uh, they don't want to fight me. That's the only reason that my name is not mentioned. Does it frustrate you? Does it annoy you? Are you angry when you hear them talk about every other he heavyweight but Martin Bacoy? What's your feelings when you, you see your name not mentioned amongst these fighters? Yeah, I feel bad, so bad, and uh, I'm so disappointed about the promoters and uh, about how boxing is going to. Uh, I'm in a good position, I'm uh, asking myself why. Even when you watch ADN, uh, every promoter ask them question about me. You know, uh, I watched one last video, uh, last interview that Eddie had, uh, uh, talking about Joshua. When they ask him, him about me, he put his head down. He doesn't know what to talk because you know I'm in a good position. I deserve that fight, but the only reason they are yeah, interested in money, so that you know make me feel bad and uh, sometimes stressing me a lot. And I'm working hard, and uh, I will never stop working hard. What um, you know, it is what it is, and there's boxing. I'm just keep my head up, keep training. I know one day I'll catch them. That's what I was going to say. Do you feel like you're this close now? You're getting closer and closer. After each fight, you're getting closer to these big names. And like you said, you're number two in the WBA, seven in the WBC. Um, surely your name's going to be amongst them very, very shortly. Surely we're going to see Mark Bacoli versus a Tyson Fury, Joshua Wilder, Usyk, Dubois. You need these guys. So surely maybe December time, maybe, who knows? Uh, uh, maybe, like I said, maybe. But uh, for me, it's not maybe... Because you don't tell me that uh, you, uh, Tyson Fury, need big money to fight me. Because how many fights that he made, he already made money in his life. And the, the same with Joshua. Maybe Dylan uh, White, I understand, maybe one big pay. Because I can see Dylan White is not focused to be a, a world champion tomorrow. It just all his, his focus is in focusing on money because maybe his handle career is very soon. But high, I won't be a world champion. So that's why I'm calling all people that, that got, they got bad, like a thousand Fury's got WBC. I'm in a seven in the ranking because all from second to six, I think it's only uh, American guy. I don't know is where he's coming from. Uh, I'm coming after him. Maybe it's only him and me that we can fight. You know, we can fight Tyson Fury, but 
uh, that doesn't happen, you know, sometimes it's stressing and it's worried me, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm asking myself questions till today, never find the answer. <laughs> It looks like this Saudi Arabia thing is going to happen with the, the big mega fight deal. Obviously, it seems like Joshua's been asked to fight Dillian White, and Dillian White, that may or may not happen. Then it's Andrew Ruiz and Wilder, that may or may not happen. Now, these guys need to fight in August or September time at the latest, because December in Saudi Arabia is, is getting very, very close. So, do you see them fights happening? Do you see Joshua Wilder, even Tyson Fury getting a fight? Maybe Tyson Fury because he's put on his Instagram, but do you see these guys fighting before December? Uh, I don't think so because everyone is interested in Saudi Arabia money. I don't think they will. Maybe they're talking just like that to let people that maybe that they find it can happen because if Tyson Fury uh, call, uh, went to the, uh, on Instagram say uh, he called everyone from uh, you know, top 15, Every, uh, nobody wants to fight him, but I'm, a, you know, I'm 15 in the box rec, seven in WBC, and number two in WBA. And I mentioned his name be even before he, he posted that video, and uh, I target him, he know, and he saw that, but I'm surprised he say he called everyone, nobody wants to fight him, and I done again the second video, until today, never get uh, an answer for that. So that's showing that everyone is, um, I don't think they'll fight before December because everyone is uh, looking for the payday that day. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, like you say. Martin, I've heard that in Saudi Arabia that they're going to make it a heavyweight card. It's going to be heavyweights from the top four, which we've mentioned, to other heavyweights, maybe an Andrew Ruiz, a Jared Anderson, uh, a Mark McCauley. If you got the opportunity to fight in Saudi Arabia, on the undercard of this, what would you say? Uh, I'm, I'm sending, you know, like uh, this message I'm sending to you. I don't know who's organized or not, who's in charge in that night. I just want my name to be mentioned. I don't know if he's the prince of Saudi Arabia. I'm asking him, why not me? Michael Martin Bakol is uh, uh, in top 15 box rank, number two WBA. That the Hunter world is number one. I'm coming after him and he's in the mix. Why not me? And I'm calling him. Uh, to do me a favour. So that night, I must not miss that night. I want to be in the mix. You mentioned D Dante Wilder's number one. Now, he leapfrogged you. He jumped over you. Yeah. Now, when you saw that, what, how did that make you feel? Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I was looking for Michael Hunter. He's the one who was in the in charge, number one, number two. And before, I don't know what, why, you know, the, uh, he's, no more, he's no more in the, in the WBA ranking. Uh, I don't know what happened. And I'm surprised uh, the Hunter Wilder was number four, f some four, five, something like that. And uh, just like that, uh, is number one. But uh, I'm no, I'm no, no, make it problem to be for him to be number one. But the problem is, uh, is number one. But why not fight me? So we need to fight number one and number two. For maybe the winner can go for a mandatory or challenger for that would be for Uziko. Or, I don't know uh, how how things is working, but. My problem is that why that fight doesn't happen because my team you know, went in contact with the WBA to try to make that fight happen, but till today I don't know, I never get answer and nobody never come back to me, never call my, my, my team to let me know if uh, the WBC say, uh, WBA say yes for me to face uh, well, the answer world. That. That's the fight I want, but I don't, I'm always asking myself the question today. I, don't, I think even the fans they can see. I always calling them out, out, out there before even I, be, I become a number two. I always put my name out there to call them out uh, so nobody never come back and respond and say, yes, you fight me. Uh, what happens if you were uh, Mark McCauley versus Deontay Wilder? What happens in that fight? I'll knock him out like uh, Tyson Fury did. I'll knock him out cool. Tyson Fury take him long, but I, I know I'll knock him out. Joshua as well, obviously that's another big fight that you, again, Billy, your coach has mentioned a fight with you and Joshua in Africa, uh, the Congo, Rumble in the Jungle. Now that's a mega fight, that's a fight that maybe Joshua's probably looking at Saudi Arabia, maybe that whatever happens in Saudi Arabia next year, which is the anniversary, what is it, the 74th, yeah. 50 years, whatever it is, whatever it may be, um, anniversary, well, I mean, that is just something of, of dreams for you, is it? You know, not even before me, even before you ask me that question, my coach always mentioned that, I always say that. 
And that was the fight I want, and that's the fight African, you know, the African people want to see. My government will be ready to organize that fight. I know it's a big night, uh, big money. I think uh, they organize that if Joshua says say yes and is ready. But I know he will not say yes. Martin, one final one for me before I let you enjoy this lovely Scottish weather. It's still the sun is shining. So we've had, we've, listen, we've had some good weather the last couple of weeks, so you must have liked it. But one final question. Have you got any news for me in terms of a day, opponent? When can we see Martin Bacoli back in the ring? I'm waiting, like you, you know, you see me in the gym. So I'm waiting. My, my team told me maybe September, December, or oh no, September, October, something like that. But I'm still waiting for Sky and my coach to tell me when. But to be honest, I don't have any date right now. But I'm waiting for to be confirmed. Patiently waiting, as always, Martin. Absolute pleasure to speak to you again, big man. And listen, hopefully that fight date comes soon, and uh, I'll see you soon, big man. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Cheers. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 